Hey everyone, imagine that you are having a big event in your office and you are planning to give food to all of your employees. Giving food is not a simple task, right? You have to take care of the menu, some needs vegetarian, some needs non-vegetarian, you have to take care of the bill, so and so. It's a really messy task, right? Just imagine that you are having an application to manage all these food related activities. That is, that application can manage the you know, cash moves, the orders, the menu, everything. Yes, Odoo 16 has such a module called the lunch module. Today, we'll be discussing about the lunch module in Odoo 16. Let's get started. Okay, now let's open the lunch module. So, this is the lunch module. Now, once you open the lunch module, you can see all the menu which is available today. So, here you can see the filter which says available today, which means food which are available today will be displayed in this window. Okay, if you take a look at the left side of the window, you can see the categories as well as the vendors. Now, if you want to filter it based on categories, you can do that easily from here. Okay, so if I want to see only sandwiches, just check the sandwiches here. You can see all the sandwiches. Okay, similarly, we have the vendors. If you want to see products from particular vendors, you can do that from here. So if you just click on the sushi shop, so these will be the products. These are the products which are provided by this vendor. Then uh, let's just uncheck it. Now here we have the option to filter group by and favorites. So if you just click on filter, you can see available today and also you can see the days of the week. So if you want to uh, filter it on the basis of any day, like if you check Monday, food which are available on Monday will be displayed. Okay. So similarly, you have all the other seven days. Okay. Then you can see the archived food items from here and also if you want to add custom filter, you can do that from here. Then we have the group by option where you can group by vendor as well as the category. So here you can see in the screen, uh, there's a vendor and the product provided by that vendor. Similarly, we have all the other vendors. Then we have the category. So you can see food based on the categories here. See, sandwiches, pizzas, pastas and all, so and so. So similarly, you have the favorites option where you have the option to save current search, link menu in spreadsheet, insert view and also insert link in article, which is a new menu. Uh, it's nothing but the uh, articles in the knowledge module, which is the new addition to Odoo. So if you want to add this view or add a link towards this view in the article, you can do that here. Then we have add to my dashboard if you want to add this to your dashboard you can do that from here okay next we have two views the one which we are viewing right now is the canvan view and also we have the list view so just click on the list here you will get the list view this is the list view okay so you have all the uh, food items as a list here and here on top you can see michelle admin office to your account and all so this is the person who is going to order Okay, by default, the logged in user is taken there and here we have the location from which he is ordering. Okay, so we are having an option to create locations inside configuration. We will see that later and also we have the option to see the balance in our account. Okay, so according to the balance, we can order food, right? Okay, so let's go back to the Canvan view and just click on one. So I'm opening this. Okay. So this order, the order for this vendor has already been sent. So already an order for this product has been sent. Okay. Similarly, you can order any other product and see. See, this is a product. If you want to add this to cart, you can just click on add to cart. Okay. And here you can see your order, which all products is there in your cart and also the total amount. So I'm adding one more product, say sushi, clicking on add to cart. You can see your order. Okay, you have two uh, different items and also the uh, total amount and also a button which is order now. Now if you want to delete your order, just click on this icon next to the your uh, order here and here we have the option to order it. So I'm just clicking on order now. So you can see it is ordered. Okay, so one more thing which is possible in this view is to add alerts. So for that we have to go to the configuration and inside the configuration we have alerts here. So uh, this is the alert okay i'm going to create a new alert here so i'll create um, new food items available okay so i want this message or uh, this should be 
seen in the uh, UI which we saw right now. Okay, so the message will be given, not here. Okay, I'll give the name itself. And here you have the option to display alert in app and also chat notification. You can do that from here. Then we have the location. To which location are we going to send this alert? So I have chosen Office 2. If you don't choose, it means it will be shown in every location. And show until when. So I'm putting a date for that. You have active here. Okay. You can keep it active. Okay, if you just disable it, means it's not active anymore. And here you have the option to set the message. So I'm giving as new food available. Okay, new food available. I've given that. Next, I'm saving it. Okay, this is saved. Now let's go back and see. So here you can see new food available. That alert has come. So this is how you set alerts for your uh you know to this orders page that is the order your lunch page okay next we have the my order history so just open that you can see the history of your orders okay which are orders you have done till now so here you can see the date and the orders date order and all and also the status that is ordered received cancelled such status also can be seen so if you want you can filter it from here you have different status here like not received received cancelled or if you want to see the orders of today you can click on today there archived at custom filter everything is possible there then we have the group by option where you can group by user vendor and also order date and then we have the favorites menu which is similar to the one which we saw right before next uh, inside my lunch you have your account history so this is the account history how much amount is deducted from your account can be seen here and also the total amount can be seen here okay then inside the manager you have the option to view today's order so click on today's order you can see the orders today okay so you can see from which all vendors we bought products that can be seen here so today right before i have ordered two products so one was from one vendor and one was from other vendor so you can see the status also and the amount if you want you can just cancel it by clicking on the cancel there okay so here also we have what filter group by and all okay then inside the manager you have control vendors so here you can see the vendor based you know analysis that is according to vendor you can see all the orders okay and from here you can cancel reset and reorder things okay so next we have the control accounts okay so here you can control the accounts of the users so here you have michelle admin expand them you can see all his orders and also the amount which he has spent then we have the cash moves so the cash moves can be seen here okay so mark demos cash move that amount is 30 and also michelle admin has 42 okay that details that is the cash moves can be seen here and if you want you can create cash moves so just click on create here and I'm clicking here and saving it. So I've created a new cash move. Okay. Go back. So here you can see. Okay. The cash move which I created. Next, we have the configuration. Inside the configuration, we have the settings. So let's open the settings. So inside the settings, we have a lunch section. Okay. It's inside the settings where we set the overdraft and all. Let's see how it's done. Okay. So here we have the lunch section where you have lunch overdraft and also reception notification. So lunch overdraft is nothing but the maximum overdraft that the employee can reach. So you can set the amount here. Okay. So that's the overdraft. And here you have the reception notification. That is once the order is delivered to the uh, customer or the user this message will be displayed okay so this is the message if you want you can change it from here okay nothing much to be done inside the uh, settings then we have the vendors where you can manage the vendors so here are all the vendors you can just click on create here and create a new vendor so you can just specify the name of the vendor burger hut or something choosing the vendor 
and the address phone number and all okay you can choose the company here and the orders that is whether delivery is available or no delivery so i'm clicking on delivery the location that is delivery to which all location are available so if you leave it as null it means it will be available to all location and also send order by phone or email that can be set here then we have the availability that is on which all days this is available also here we have the extra one and the extra name extra two name similarly you can add extra items that is once you are having a food you are adding something as extra like if you are adding some olives or some breads and all that will come under extra so you can put a name also add the extra and uh, also the price of that extra food okay so that's it and these are the three things uh, three extras uh, adding three extras are possible in the lunch module so i'm just discarding everything and these are the vendors which are created now inside the configuration you have locations so locations are nothing but office one office two office three to which location the food is delivered to you can create location easily by clicking on the create button so here we have the create and from here you can easily create the location so i've added a location here which is office four next in the configuration you have products if you want to add any products you can add from here these are the products okay just click on create specify the product name the product category and the vendor who's selling this product the price and also the description also you can set a date which is new until and also the company can be set okay then we have the product categories also so as you all know once you create the product that product will be put under a category right let's go and see the product categories so these are the categories in the beginning we saw category wise filtration and all right so sandwich pizzas burgers drinks and all similarly you can add a product category if you want just click on the create here so i'm adding like rice okay and saving it so this is a new category okay price then we have the alerts which we already did so these are the possible things which we can do inside the lunch module that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.